generous to a fault, and the most loyal friend. Working closely with him has been the biggest privilege of my life. It was a great understanding of racing, I think, really. He knew that he was passionate and very, um, very competitive. Just have someone in racing that long, invest so much money into the game. The stud farms around the UK and Ireland are absolutely beautiful. And the amount of good horses he's bred in this game, it's been a joy to everyone. Prince Khalid Abdullah was the guiding force behind the racing and breeding empire that would come to be known as Judmont. And his influence in Britain and worldwide has been nothing short of immense. The prince, always modestly listed as Mr. Khalid Abdullah in the race card, was introduced to racing in Paris in the 1950s, but didn't delve into racehorse ownership until 1978, with his first winner coming a year later at Windsor followed by his first group win and first British classic with known fact. In one of the first um, purchases that we made was known fact, which of course won the 2000 guineas and was a very successful stallion. And from then on he was hooked. His first derby winner was Quest for Fame in 1990, followed by two more, Commander in Chief in 1993 and Workforce in 2010. Horses carrying his iconic pink, green and white colors have won the 2,000 guineas on five occasions and have twice won the 1,000 guineas Oaks and St. Ledger. He therefore holds the distinction of having won all five British classic races with homebreds. That is some achievement. Um, after the race, he looked pleased, but again, as I say, there was uh, no hugging. And um, he rang me that evening and, and just very quietly said, thank you very much, that means a lot to me. Judmont runners have captured the Prix de l'Arc de Triomphe six times, including the brilliant Dancing Brave in 1986 and enables memorable back-to-back -back victories in 2017 and 18. Along with her three King George and Queen Elizabeth stakes triumphs, Enable is the only horse to win both the Arc and the Breeders' Cup turf in the same year. Iconic colours like those, um, every jockey wants to wear them on his back um, and to have that job was something really special. Um, very proud and I felt it projected my career into something bigger and better and they entrusted me to look after their horses. There have been so many other champions, almost too many to mention, among them Warning, Kingman and Oasis Dream. But surely, the best of all was the peerless, unbeaten Frankel. The ultimate racehorse and pinnacle of what every owner breeder strives to achieve. Frankel capped his phenomenal career with that emotional, memorable triumph in the 2012 Kipco Champion Stakes. He's making a fight of it on the far side. Frankel extends. Cirrus de Zaga is a worthy adversary, but up towards the line. All covers, all grounds, all beaten. Frankel won the Champion Stakes and lives up to the title. Cirrus de Zaga in second. The Frankel is third. Important and he was very proud of his involvement with the Jabon International for 35 plus years and I suppose that Frankel winning his race was the pinnacle of his racing successes. Prince Carla died in 2021 but the Judmont name lives on both on the race course and through the bloodlines he shaped and nurtured a testament to the Prince's dedication to the sport of kings.